Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing my next video. In this episode I'm going, I'm going to be showing you all how to make the Minecraft base look a lot better. As you can see, um, this is another part of the base series. Last episode we built this cool barn, but in this episode um, I was going to show you all how to make the base look better, as basically the final part of the series. Although there are more things you could do inside of a Minecraft base, like maybe a kelp farm, um, bamboo farm, well we have that inside of the barn, but still even if one of those villager farms. But there's a lot of stuff you could still do. But you know, um, I haven't built this villager farm on survival mode yet, so I just don't want to put it in the video because I'm not, I don't want it to not work on someone else's survival world. But mainly in this episode, I'm just going to be showing you how to make the base look better. Um, we are going to be using one of my other builds from another video in this episode. I'm just getting all the blocks for it. Here it is. And we're gonna need cobblestone for it as well. We're also gonna need some trap doors for the build. Like I said, I'm just getting this stuff for it. Basically, you're just gonna go from your front of the base and kinda make a little dirt path. Try to make it a bit more random. We'll deal with this moss carpet in a minute. So for now, I'll just kinda leave it how it is. Here we go, we have that road right there. Now I'm gonna make the main path to all the farms go out on this side. As you can see, I have a trapped horse right here. I just found it off camera and decided to have it at the side of the house. Another thing you could add to um, your Minecraft world is a stable for all your horses and donkeys. I'm sure, you, I'm sure everybody has some of those. You're gonna wanna road pretty much leading up to every farm that you have. So in this case, one that leads to the sugarcane farm, and then one that's gonna lead all the way over here. Just like this. I'm gonna make it kinda transition into the melon and pumpkin farm. Just like that. And as you can see, you'll notice the road starting to come along. Let's see here. Now we're gonna kind of go up to here. Now we're gonna actually build what I was telling you all. We're gonna go like this with these. Depending if you watch all my videos, you might know what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna be building this cool fountain design that I made. Here we go. We have it just like this. All right, we have all this done. And now we are building this cool cross fountain. You're gonna go up five blocks and then you're gonna put, oops, wrong spot. You're gonna put, put two of them like that. Here we go. And on the inside flooring, you're gonna replace it with cobblestone. You'll see a lot of and, um, um, granite and stuff like that under this thing. It's mainly just due to the way I built it because it was like a little heel, hill here that I removed. As you can see, we have the fountain pretty much complete. We just need some more things. You can add your favorite flowers to the sides of it, but I just like to do rose bushes on this build. And now for the actual water and fountain part of it. Which you just gotta go on these side parts. Originally a cross build like this would just be four blocks, but I had the extra one so that way the water could go down. Now you just gotta fill it up with the water and make sure it's not all going crazy like this. Just like that. And here we go, we have the nice cross fountain finished. This is basically gonna be the center of your base where all the roads to the different farms connect. So now we are just gonna simply put some dirt path around it. And like I say, we'll fix the uh, torches in a minute. Here we go. Wonder how this happened. I'll just get rid of that. 
as you can see we have all the road around here and since this farm over here we'll just kind of make the roads connect into it as you can see we have a nice road leading up to the farm now we can go over here and place down some road leading towards the greenhouse basically we're just connecting all the structures with roads It looks a bit thin in one part, you know, you just gotta fix it. I can hear our neighbor's dogs barking outside in real life right now. So sorry about all the noise. As you can see, if you look up here, you'll see a lot of the road being built in and how nice it looks. Now we're gonna do some road to the dog house that we put up here. We have our dog. Here we go. As you can see, we have it like that. Now we're gonna add all the roads to the farms. Try to make the road um, wave out a little bit and like to connect all the actual farms. Just like this. Just so you know, you have a little path leading to all of them. And lastly, we just got to get this one to the tree farm over here. As you can see, we have all the roads now. This is just one step to make it bigger. Of course, if you're expanding a new structure like a villager farm or anything like that, you just got to build more road to it. Next thing we're gonna add is, well, we're gonna fix up the ground, but also add in, we can mix in a kind of dirt with the path, which I'm gonna do some coarse dirt. Any of these moss carpets you see on the road, you know, you can just get rid of them. Which actually I'm gonna do that first. Like I say, you'll see the grass stand out a bit differently. And also you'll see, if it's connected to the road, you'll see the little torch in the gap. If they're not like this, it's perfectly fine, just as long as it's not on top of the road. If you notice the road looks a bit too thin in a spot, you just gotta fix it up by adding more path to it. Here it's pretty much all lit up due to the farms. Okay then, there's no more leading up to this. We got all of those now. Now what we're going to do next is mix in the coarse dirt, just so that way the road has more detail. There are all sorts of different road combinations out there, like with gravel, with coarse dirt, other types of things. You just got to experiment and see what you like. I recommend going on a flat world though, so you don't actually like do it all over your road and have to reset it. The best time to put up all the lights would be at nighttime. It's a bit more dangerous, but you will be able to see if you get every square inch of your base. Here we go, we have all the road mixed in. If road's connected, they light up a bit brighter as you can see. Well, just because of the lanterns right now. But as you can see, some of the roads are a bit darker. That's just because it's not connected to a lot of other road. Not that sure why the game does that, but it does. Still, it does add more detail to the roads. The road leading up to the doghouse. I'm just kind of looking around, making sure which roads we've gotten. The last one really is the one connecting to the barn. Here we go. Instead of the farm, if you want it to look better, you can mix in coarse dirt, but also podzol. I believe that's what it's called. Here we go. And you know, the podzol makes it look more like a farm inside of the actual farm. You could do it under the animals, but don't do it under the sheep, because then they won't be able to get their wool back through eating all the grass. 
As you can see, it's all been eaten already. And baby sheep actually eat more than the adult sheep in this game, so it's a bit harder. But as you can see, we just mix in the ponzel and the stuff, and now it looks more like a farm kind of ground. As you can see, that's pretty much almost all complete. Although there's still more things that we can add to the base to make it look better. We can add some lights. That's always a nice thing that makes it look good. Just kind of get all your fancy and stuff. If you have any light designs, you can use them. But mainly just use it in areas where it's extra dark. Which right now, this area is pretty much good. Although it could use one right here. We just gotta kind of put it on there like that. And we gotta do this on the opposite side. And here we go, we get to put this on. Hmm. Let's see here, You see if there's a way that we can improve it. Making them taller than it is right now could probably improve it, but I forgot how this design looked on my survival world. Not the best from when I remember it, but yeah, that'll just have to do for now. Here's a tiny bit dark, so yeah, we're gonna add, we're gonna put one right here. This one, I'm gonna make it a bit taller. This one is a bit more expensive though, so keep that in mind. Due to having needed lanterns for it. And lanterns cost iron, so that's why I consider it expensive. Here we go. Putting in the trapdoors. It's raining now in the game. Oh, I just realized there are phantoms in the sky. And there's lightning, which reminds me of something else we needed to do for the base a long time ago. As you can see, there's a creeper right there, which means the fountain's kind of dark. So we could probably add some lanterns on it. We forgot a detail on the fountain. I forgot to add the staircases in. That might grow back, but um, just in case, you can turn that into grass. We're just going to do this all around the fountain. That was just something important that I had forgotten about building the fountain. If you place a staircase right there by accident, you're going to have to remove that and then place the water dip, place down the water again. Just like that. If you have any torches on the ground like, that aren't uh, under the moss carpets, then you'll probably have to fix those. Here we go. Oopsie. You have to fix that. It's a bit tricky to place these. And there's more continuous lightning in the game. Just like that because of the stormy weather. We're just going to put down the grass. There you go. That's the fountain complete. Sorry about that. Now, uh, another thing we could add to the fountain is some lights to make it look better. You can put some uh, sea lanterns down inside of it. If you don't have them, you could probably place down some lanterns kind of near the rose bushes if you want to. But I'm just doing what I think looks best. As you can see, our base is pretty much light lit up. Like, I don't really see any dark spots on the base. Another thing we could add, and I've been meaning to add, um, this should actually be done like right away, but I keep forgetting about it in the series, is adding lightning rods. Just kind of make sure they're not in the way of anything, like moss carpets or your dog house. As you can see, it'll pretty much protect a good radius. We'll do one right here. Actually, I'll move it over a bit. One right here. That'll pretty much cover this area down here. That one will cover over here pretty much. We need one to cover up the farm and stuff, so, oopsie, not that sure if I did that on the other ones. Yep, we have one covering up the farm and stuff. The last side I could think of covering up would be right here. It's kind of close to the moss carpet, but not too close. Next thing we can add is make the gates look better inside of the actual build. Which I did this on my survival world to make it look a lot better. And 
I just need sweet berries. Actually, I could do flowers. I just saw the lightning flash in the game. Seeing it flashing on the lightning rod, that's how you know it works. Okay, I think we have everything we need for it. But basically, go to any of your gates that you have. It doesn't matter if the gate's made out of stone bricks and the actual thing is cobblestone. It's fine, in my opinion. You're just gonna kinda go out like this from your gate. Here we go. I'm gonna stack this up a few blocks. I'm gonna go up one more. I can see all the lightning. As you can see, we have it like this. I think we need to go up block. I haven't built this in a while. I don't really play on my survival world as much as I used to. Anyways, back here, we can do a ladder on this side and on this side, just so you have it on both of them. Then, you know, you can just put down some stone bricks like this. it will kind of make it look like more like a castle. Now we can place down a grass block. And of course, place down the trap doors and add a flower on it. Just like this. There's one more thing we need to do for this gate. Here we go. Realizing now I grabbed cobblestone by accident. Kind of doing what we did with the barn. Here it is. As you can see, we have this nice little castle gate. And just so mobs don't spawn directly on the outside of it, we have some torches as well. You can do this whenever you, any other places that you have gates in it. I have two of them on my main survival world, but on this one, I only have one gate right here. So we have the lightning rods, all the new lanterns, the roads and stuff, the fancy gate. The only other thing I could think is adding more natural greenery around your base. Although the video is getting a tiny bit long. So I'll do, I might do that in like another episode. Well anyways, that's going to finish up this video. So please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Goodbye.